All right, so let's move on to part two of Georgia. This is lesson number 84 from Jazz Piano Daily. All right, let's move on over to the sheet music. All right, so the first part, we've already done this. Okay, so you can like take a look at that. You also notice too, sometimes, I might hit the A down here. It doesn't really matter where you hit that the, the A, okay, or those those root notes. So as I'm coming up here, it's written here, going here, the fifth down to the A, but I could also go A, A down to there, and then come up to the chord here, okay? So where you decide to play those roots is completely up to you. All right, so now the new material is this. We've already talked about this first part here, right? Those are our slash chords, the D minor, the D minor over C, and then to the B minor 7 flat 5, come up to my B minor 7 flat 5, probably uh, uh, this voicing, 3, 5, 7, root, or three, flat 3, flat 5, flat 7, root, and then to the E, and see my E7 alter chord here? Okay. Now you might not like the E, and I'm going to give you an alternate version in just a second. Okay. But here's your E7 chord, and you notice you got your sharp nine in here. But you're playing flat nine first, then going up to sharp nine. You can see they still work together, right? So let's do it from that measure. Next chord is going to be A minor if you want to get to that, and it's going to be A and A. All right, we'll talk about that uh, uh, in, in a future lesson. All right, so the alternate version is rather than playing the E uh, E seven altered, instead go to a B flat minor six chord. Okay, so you're playing the B minor seven flat five, then down to a B flat minor six, th then you're going to resolve down to A minor. Okay. So it's kind of a nice sound. You could also do B flat seven if you wanted to, but I kind of like that sound of the B flat minor six. Okay, all right, so that would sound like this. Right, and then the B flat, and then you notice that this B flat minor six is really the same thing as an E flat seven rootless chord voicing. That's an E flat dominant seventh chord. If I put an E flat underneath there, right, that's seven, nine, three, thirteen on E flat. But when I put a B flat underneath there, that's flat three, five, six, nine. So remember that these voicings can serve double duty here, right? It's not just, you know, a B flat minor six, it's also, you know, a, uh, a E flat chord as well. And guess what? It's also an A altered as well, right? So it could really uh, serve multiple purposes. All right. So from this uh, uh, two measures again. Or. B minor seven, E. So you get to decide which one you want to do, the B flat minor six or the E seven. Guess what? Since the next chord is going to the A minor, it doesn't matter. The B flat minor six resolves nicely down to the A seven. The E seven alter resolves nicely down to the A minor seven as well. Okay? On that B flat minor six as well, if you don't like adding in that nine up here, because it might create like kind of like that dominant kind of sound in there, right? Because uh, it kind of sounds like that E flat seven chord. You can also soften that up by just changing that nine just down to the root of the B flat minor. So that sounds like this. Whoops, sorry. There you go, with the six in there. Now, I, like I said, you could also do a dominant chord. I don't have that written in here, but that would be like this. And we'll talk about the rest of that uh, in the next lesson, all right? So anyway, uh, work on those two different variations of it. So you can play it with the E7 or with the B flat minor six. I'll see you guys in the next chapter.
To get the first 45 pages of music for free, just go back to jazzpianodaily.com. If you liked the video, please be sure to click the like button and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. To watch the rest of the lessons in this series, just click on the playlist to the right of this arrow. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you in the next video.